Hi guys, today we'll be looking at this question here, uh, mainly to do with fplot. So the question reads, how do we plot the functions sine 2x and cosine 2x with this x interval here? So between minus 2 pi and 2 pi inclusive on the same figure. So the first step would be is to actually define a function handle because that's the one of the inputs that uh, fplot takes. So if you type in fplot, and f would be function handle right here so the import is a function handle so first we have to actually make a function handle so to do that i'm going to use f as my function handle you can call it anything and then you type in equals at of the variable it takes so the only thing the only variable that uh, varies in sine of 2x and cosine of 2x well i'm firstly first i'm going to define sine of 2x is the x variable so all i would do is just type in sine of 2 times x Okay, so now f the function handle is defined and the function is sine of 2x. So the next step would be is to plot the function. So to plot the function using fplot, you just type in fplot and use your f as in you use the function handle and then comma. Now it prompts us with an x interval. So the x interval we need is we need it in between is minus 2 pi and 2 pi. So what you would do is just type in minus 2 times pi and space or you could type in a comma and just do two times pi so now this will allow you to or, or what this code does is plot sine of 2x between minus 2 pi and 2 pi so if we run this and check our output on this side we should get a function sine of 2x okay and notice how matlab is by default it, or normally it just runs in radians so the so by default it's just in radians so minus 6 is about minus 2 pi and 6 is about 2 pi so it's plotted it in this x interval uh, let's say if you didn't want to plot the function and you just wanted to find out different values of um, different inputs okay so for example if we go into my command window if i wanted to know what um, sine of 2x was at x equals 1 I would just type in f of 1 and that would give me a value and we all know that um, the sine function is equal to 0 at uh, every multiple of pi so if you just typed in pi here it should give me 0 right so if you do this we get a very small value as in our answer is very small value but um, if you know that MATLAB works in floating numbers this is practically zero okay so if you rounded this answer using the input round function this would give us a zero so this is just zero right um yeah and so you could use other values wherever you want to figure out uh, you know what the value of uh, a particular input is or the value of the function at a particular input is so this is basically pretty much zero as well so at two pi it's zero if you just round this this is uh, zero so now and let's close the command window so now uh, what well, if you had multiple inputs to a function all you would do is just simply you would change this uh, and add your multiple variables so imagine if i had two variables so i had x y and z then i'll have to have to mod modify my function times x y and z okay um, and now the way i would call this function would be to have three inputs okay so i'm not going to run this but this is how you would call the function so if i open my command window here and uh, just one second so i would call the function like this so my first input was x okay and then let me just make it smaller and then my second input was y and then my third input is z so this would give me the value of sine of 2 times 1 times 2 times 3, okay? Uh, and you can use anonymous functions for multiple inputs. So now, let's just get rid of this because we, the question doesn't ask us to do that uh, function. So, so now we have our question here. So we have the first uh, graph of sine of 2x now let's do the second uh, graph so to do a second graph we're going to do we're going to use the function handle of g because if we use the same function handle uh, the latter code will 
overwrite the previous code okay so therefore we have to use another letter so now what we're going to do is just define this as cosine of 2x and now we're going to use fplot to plot the function in between the same range so minus 2 pi and 2 pi so if we do this and run this uh, you will notice it's given us sine of x sine of 2x and cosine of 2x as two separate figures but our question asked us how do we plot the functions these two functions with minus 2 pi and 2 pi our x interval on the same figure so the way to do that would be is to simply after your first uh, plot plot code is just type in hold on okay and after you're done uh, after you have maybe you have another uh, graph that you want to plot after you've plotted or after you've coded the last um, function that you want to plot you could just put hold off so let's just say for example you had uh, another function here uh, with its plot code another function here with its plot code and then you press hold off you would have uh, so you would have around so you would one two right these would be two you have two extra functions and then three and four on the same diagram so you would have four functions on one diagram um, but we don't have four functions to plot so we're just going to use these two functions okay so if you run this it's plotted um, in the blue line sine of 2x and in the red line cosine of 2x okay so now the next part of the question says how do we label the axes and add a title so if i if i use the inbuilt function x label this allows me to label the x-axis so if i just type in x-axis this will label the x-axis and then if i start a new line and type in y label this will create my y label so if you do this this will label the axes Okay, let me just clear this output right here. So now we've labeled our x and y axis right here. So x axis and y axis. Now, if we want to add a title, we can just use the inbuilt function title and type in whatever we want to call it. So I'm going to call it graph of sine of 2x and cosine 2x. Okay, so if you run this, we should be able to get y axis labeled x axis labeled and graph of sine of 2x and cosine of 2x okay so what is the next part of the question asking try adding a legend using a legend label 1 comma label 2 where the labels correspond to each curve drawn they are labeled in the order they are they were applied so if we use the function legend so which function did we plot first we used we plotted sine of 2x first so i'm just going to type in sine of 2x okay and then comma cosine of 2x but if i plotted cosine of 2x first and then sine of 2x then i would have cosine of 2x here and sine of 2x here right and this would be for however many functions we plotted right the order would remain the same so it'd be the function that you plotted first all the way to the function that you plotted last so if you run this this should give us a diagram that labels the uh, uh, the functions so in the blue line we have sine of 2x and in the red line we have cosine of 2x okay uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and in the next video we're going to look at how to use the inbuilt function plot